Today, Kevin and I have an assortment of items to try for you. Sarah sent us these from California, so thank you very much to Sarah. Uh, we have the Merry Mix. This is Toasty Peanut Butter, and this one is Smoky Maple Barbecue. And I've got Kickin' Nuts, which is the brand. Um, old School and Wanna Pizza Me. You Wanna Pizza Me? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, we So those have, are like little pieces of dried corn. Yes. So, Merry Mix, Crunch Bake Snack Mix, Toasty Peanut Butter, Creamy Peanut Butter, Rich Vanilla, Golden Maple. That sounds awesome. Uh, proudly made in the USA. These are made in Orange, California. And they have other flavors. They have Cinnamon Churro, Sweet Chili Sesame, Chocolate Sea Salt, and Hatch Chili Lime, it says. Um... It says, Toasty Peanut Butter features party-ready petite pretzels, hearty whole grain pillows, and airy puffs of golden corn, all hugged in dreamy swirls of creamy bliss. We patiently bake each batch for a big, craveable crunch, bursting with irresistibly sweet and salty peanut butter, pure vanilla, and a kiss of organic maple sugar. To finish, a shower of crisp quinoa, and generous scoops of love. Four servings in the container, three-fourths cup, 30 grams, is 140 calories. They had me until quinoa. I knew it. I promise you I was going to say those exact words. I was going to say I lost you at quinoa, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. Because Everything sounded good until they said quinoa. The, like, until I read that really one word. Quinoa. quinoa. It's okay. It's just, it's just six in your teeth and stuff. See? Wow, look at that. Oh, what are those chunks? Are those they're the pretzels peanut? with stuff? Uh -huh. not the, yeah, they're pretzels with like stuff stuck on oh, That is this. not pretzel. There's no pretzel in mine. Oh, the, that mine does. Yeah. And then, but there's a piece of cereal with something stuck on it. Huh. Okay. Those are chewy like corn puff cereal. Or what's that puff cereal? Well, they said pillows. Was that corn puffs? Is that what it's called? I don't know if any corn puffs is that soft. No, I don't know. It's really soft. They're like little popcorns. <laughs> That's okay. I don't like those. I don't like these little styrofoam things. That's what I was talking about. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I don't like those. They're bizarre. Mm -hmm. The cereal's okay and the peanut butter's Okay, not bad. Doesn't really come across as peanut butter though. No, it says maple. Um, mm. Really, you taste the maple. Tastes like something healthy. I taste more maple than I do peanut butter. And yes, it absolutely tastes like, honestly, it, this seems like, now maybe this is gonna sound bad for me to say this. This seems like something I buy at Whole Foods. Yeah, I don't know. I it see. seems like something you would see at Whole Foods, and it's like healthier. And a lot of people that shop at Whole Foods might like this, but it, it no, this is not for this me. This is not a good sit on the couch and snack on. Couch. No, because it doesn't taste like peanut butter, like good peanut butter. No, it has an odd. It's it has odd. an odd after mm -hmm. taste to it's it. It's almost like chemical. Like flavor. yes, it's it, that's what I was gonna say. It's almost chemical. Um, especially the longer you sit and let it stew in your mouth, the stronger that chemical yeah, is does. coming out. I would not buy those. No, I wouldn't. They're so I love bad. it that Sarah sent it. Yeah. We appreciate it Always greatly. Always appreciate it. But I would not buy those. Um, and, and I bet you, if I had to guess, I bet you these are probably six bucks, seven bucks for oh, yeah. Whole Foods, oh, yeah. at yeah. least. Uh, this is the smoke, smoky, you could buy it Whole yeah. I'm just guessing. Smoky maple barbecue, rich smoked paprika, tangy tomato, and a kiss of maple. Maybe these would be better. It, tell me what that smells like to you. Maple. You don't get that, uh, I get the maple, but you don't get that spicy. No, oh, chili powder. Hopefully. Yeah. I hope it tastes like chili powder. I don't like that. Half a cup, 30 grams is 120 calories. It says uh, smoked paprika, mm -hmm. garlic, onion, tomato, and maple. Uh, and it says quinoa. They're better. I didn't get quinoa in that first one. I didn't really either. Those are definitely better. 
Oh yeah. It, you taste almost all um, the cayenne pepper. It's not even a chili powder, it's a, it's a cayenne red pepper. But I do like it. it. One good thing is they left these little pillowy things out. Yeah, I didn't, yeah. So the packing peanuts are no longer in there. Yeah, what ruined the first mix too as far as texture was these great big like corn really cups. That's almost too strong of cayenne pepper. I mean, it's like I've taken my finger and dipped it in there and stuck it on my tongue. The flavor of this, I like it. And I could definitely eat these and I like how crunchy it is. It's mm, crunchy, it's yeah. not hard. This is actually really nice. We've had some curries though yeah. that have the same flavor. Yeah, yeah. I agree. It reminds me of a curry. I wonder if that doesn't have that spice in there. I don't know. It has, t I, you can't even oh, read yeah. it all. That's, I mean, they're, they're long list of stuff. yes, there's it, <laughs> the ingredients on here. I always put at the end of the video, if you're curious, get ready to pause. I always put the nutritional information and the ingredients. This is a long list. There's a lot of stuff in here. Um, Tamari powder. But it tastes like is. it tastes like curry. Mm -hmm. But it I does. actually, I agree. but I do like it. I like and I like it ten times more than the first one. Mm -hmm. Okay. I agree. So this one is the Kickin' Nuts seasoned corn snack. No gluten, no trans fat, non-GMO, vegan. This one's just called old school. So the ingredients are corn, and then uh, there's oil, and there could be canola and or sunflower oil, spices, uh, let's see, lime juice, powder. There's no description on here, so I'm just trying to give you something here. Um, there's 18 plus servings in the container. I could eat like half that bag. Uh, 100 grams is... 460 calories. How many grams is the whole bag? Does it say? Six ounces. So you, you're literally going to be getting your kitchen scale. So four ounces is 113 grams. Okay. Four ounces is 113. Is 113 grams? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is for 100 grams. So, so half the bag. Hmm. You know what? This got a really good um, crunch. First of all, it tastes like a Frito almost. I like the salt. Mm -hmm. That's what it reminds me of a Frito. Yeah. Really nice crunch. Got the corny flavor. Mm -hmm. Really nice, crunchy, salty. I could eat the whole bag of those. Those are nice. Does that not remind you of a Frito mm -hmm. a little bit? Yeah, it does taste like it tastes like a corn chip, mm -hmm. and it has tons of salt. But not too much. No, it's nice. And I love <laughs> the amount of uh, crunch it gives you. I love the corn, corny. What do, we, what do they call those at Trader Joe's? Like uh, Aztec corn or something like that. Yeah, and they're great big they're pieces. They're huge pieces. Yeah, like like uh, giant size corn pieces. This, this reminds but me. But Kevin of that. loves those. Yeah, these are the uh, kind of sit on the couch tonight. Mm -hmm. Those are really really good. Yeah, or eat them with your dinner. Okay, this is one of pizza meat. Yeah, so these are going to be the same thing with the pizza with, seasoning. I can't wait. I'm so excited because I love... You like pizza seasoning I do. better than I do. I do. I'm crazy about it. I like red sauce, well, pizza they've got sauce. Tons of spice or powder um, on it. Same calories. Yeah, I love that uh, seasoning. Hmm. That's good fun. I would never say pizza. Garlic and onion powder, paprika. No, it tastes tomatoey. Like it tastes like tomatoes been squeezed. This on. isn't the seasonings that I was hoping for. Hope expecting. It's kind of got a spice to it too. A little, little tingle in the back of your throat. It tastes like peppers and tomatoes. Mm-hmm. Hmm. It's okay. It's, it's not, not no. It's no. I would ten times rather eat the and that the is original. shocking to me. Because mm. normally I love like if something says uh, like Italian or pizza or something like that, then I'm expecting that classic red sauce. Um, That's more like margarita pizza. 
Yeah. You know, like margarita's yeah. got those roasted red tomatoes on it. And so like that, that's what that reminds yeah, me. Yeah, I don't want a margarita pizza. Mm -hmm. No, I, I like no, I like other things on my pizza. Margarita pizzas to me is kind of boring. Yeah. It's ve it's, it's a very boring, tomato. very boring pizza. Um, I need a little bit more jazz to my pizza. Um, but those. Yeah, these are really good. Those are the ones you want. That's the best thing here is those right there. And you would have never thought that by looking at them, you would have thought, oh, those are going to be so plain. But they're really not. They really do. Kevin's right. They, they taste like a frito. They taste like a corn chip. Mm -hmm. And the amount of salt, they did it, they did it perfect because you do get it. Yeah, they did it just right. And honestly, these, I would just pass on those. Yeah, like, if I, I ever saw these. those... Uh, no, I, no. Would, I wouldn't get like it named like five other flavors. I you wouldn't, wouldn't be interested. No, those. I'm not even interested. No, no, because those were not good enough. And if they can't even get peanut butter right, I'm not interested in trying anything else. Yeah, I no. can see that. Although I appreciate Sarah sending them, but I would not want like I wouldn't want Sarah to spend any more money to, if she saw them. No, because right. I just don't think they're worth the money at all. Right. Um, but these, these are nice. So if you see these, uh, you have to let us know. I have no idea where they sell these. Um, I'm not even, where are these even made? I don't even see an address on here. Do you? No, I'm not seeing, I'm literally, it has the name on here. There's nothing on the bottom. And on the back, it gives vegan. nutritional information and ingredients. I don't see an address or anything on here, so I have a no idea where yeah, Sarah. Who makes them or whatever? No, no idea where they're from. So Sarah could be making them. I have <laughs> no idea. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.